Hello everybody, Gradius here, and this is a video for multiplying polynomials. And this is the first multiplying polynomials video. There will be a second one, which is more focused on multiplying binomials. So this one's more basic, and then it'll get more complicated in the next video. So if we take a look at our I can statement, it does say I can multiply polynomials by using the distributive property and the product of powers property. So let's fix that real quick. Yeah, product of powers. Okay. Realize I didn't realize I spelled it wrong. So if we take a look right here, we're just going to do a quick review of the distributive property, and then we're going to move on in multiplying polynomials. So if I have something like 7 times x minus 4, okay, and I wanted to simplify this, what I would do is i take the 7, because this is 7 times everything inside the parentheses. So it would be 7 times x, 7 times negative 4. Well, 7 times x, we can rewrite that as just 7x. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. So 7 times x minus 4 just becomes 7x minus 28. That is a distributive property. We're distributing the number outside the parentheses to both pieces on the inside. That's what we're going to do when we multiply polynomials. But now, it's not going to be so simple. We have some things that are a little bit more complicated. Okay. So I have 2 times x to the third power, and all that's going to be times multiplied by x to the third plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the distributive property. I'm going to multiply 2x to the third times x to the third. Then multiply these pieces. And then multiply the third. And I'm also going to distribute it to the very, very end. So I will have 2x to the third times x to the third plus 2x to the third times 3x squared minus 2x to the third times 2x and then plus 2x to the third times 5. And now I would just simplify this. So 2x to the third times x to the third. I'm really just multiplying x to the third times x to the third. And our product of powers property tells me that I can just add these exponents. So I'll have 2 times x to the sixth plus 2 times 3 is 6. x to the third times x squared is x to the fifth. 2 times 2 is 4. x to the third times x is x to the fourth. And this is a negative times a positive, so it's still the minus sign. And then I have 2 times 5, which is 10. And then x to the third just stays the same. So here is my simplified answer. I cannot combine anything anymore. I'm all done. Let's look at another one. So now I have z squared on the outside and I have all of this on the inside. So again, we're going to distribute this z squared to all the pieces inside the parentheses. Okay. So I have z squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, let's just write it out. Instead of rewriting out the whole problem, let's just do it right now. z squared times 4 times z to the fourth power. So I still have my 4 because I multiply the whole numbers in front. There is no whole number here, so I'm just going to keep my coefficient. So I have z squared times z to the 4th, which is just z to the 6th. I have z squared times z to the 3rd, which is z to the 5th. z squared times negative 11z squared. So I keep my coefficient of negative 11. And I have z squared times z squared, which is z to the 4th. And then finally minus 6, and then we'll add the z squared because that's what we're multiplying by. And again, I'm all done. That's all I have to do. Okay, last example, and then we'll be done with the video. So now I have a negative a to the fifth power on the outside times everything on the inside. So if you have a negative, just make sure you still follow your, your rules with positive and negative numbers. So I have negative a to the fifth times negative 9 times a squared. A negative times a negative is positive, so it will become positive 9. And then I can do a to the fifth times a squared, which is a to the seventh. Okay, so when I multiply these, this is like having like a negative 1. So it's negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9. And then I have a to the fifth times a squared, which is a to the seventh. Negative a fifth times positive 5a would be negative 5, so I change the sign of my coefficient, and then a to the 5th times a is a to the 6th. And then negative a to the 5th times 13 would be negative 13 
a to the fifth. So we're just, whenever we have a negative on the outside, just when we multiply, we're just going to change the sign of everything on the inside. And that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. So hopefully this video helped. Good luck with multiplying polynomials, and uh, thanks for watching.